Now it's on. Is it working? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Testing. One, two, three. It says it's working. Sometimes we have trouble with these microphones. Hello, hello, hello. The green thing's moving, but shouldn't there be two of them? No. Because they're on the same thing. All right, we are spraying today. We're spraying soybeans. Actually down to 126 acres. My soybeans here at my house. Dad brought the uh, semi-trailer down last night. And uh, got a pretty decent start this morning. Everything seemed to dry off nice. But uh, he's out working on his first tank. And we're going to go out here and we're going to video a couple things. Show you how we haul water and chemicals to the field. And stuff like that. Do a drive by here quick. Start out at the front of the truck here. Um, I think it's a 98 T800 Kenworth. Uh, it used to be a uh, fuel delivery truck, hold a fuel tanker, and uh, Dad bought it from them. But uh, 450,000 miles on it, I think. It's got a small little C10 engine in it, which is fine. Uh, it's governed to go 65 mile an hour down, 67 mile an hour down the road, and it will. With authority, it's got nice low rear ends in it. Really good farm truck for getting in and out of the field. So, it's a pretty good truck. We don't use it a whole lot anymore. Um, after I bought my International that I can drive, this thing kind of just stays on the water right in here. Going back here to the water tank. Got an old trailer here. No idea in the world what year it is, but uh, <clears throat> it's old. And it's not good for anything but what we're using it for. So, you know, we're going five, six miles away from our house the farthest we go, so that's the way it is. But uh, we got a thousand gallon tank on the front of it. And I think a 1500 gallon tank on the back of it. And we have all kinds of room to set shuttles up here. And shuttles, this is a shuttle right here. This is what our chemicals are carried in. And they're made to fly off the trailer and not break or anything like that. But it's strapped down. We can also carry our boxes on here with some different chemicals that we're using. And uh, we are spraying in list, which is a uh, soybean herbicide. And yeah, <laughs> something else. We got several different things <clears throat> in here. But uh, this trailer was, it was uh, put together a lot of years ago. And it is still plumbed with inch and a half plumbing. And for no bigger than the sprayer tank is, and how long it takes to get things mixed up. This is usually a one-man show here on the farm. So it works out about perfect. And Dad is the one that does the majority of the spraying. John does some also, but I do not spray. But uh, kind of our spray rig we got here to get things kicked off when the sprayer comes in. We'll video it and show you some things on it get some cameras put on it try to make you a video Here we got the sprayer. Um, we are going to put some cameras on it, like I said, but uh, it's a, got an 80 foot boom on it. So it goes out and it'll do a full round with the uh, 
put the corn planter a hold down and back. Can't remember the number. Got us a spray coop here. Has a 400 gallon tank on it. Now this isn't a big sprayer, but uh, for what we use it for, and no more, no more acres than what we spray, it works out really well for us. Um, you get her down to where she doesn't have much chemical in it or anything like that, this thing will hop and skip over wet spots and everything. Very good sprayer for what we use it for. Would I like a big John Deere? Yeah. Yeah. But this is what we have. Hopefully we don't make him nervous standing here watching him. He's adding a water conditioner right now. Conditions the water and it actually makes the spray work better. Pour it in the real stuff now. What is it? Any less. These soybeans that we planted have three different modes of action on them. And this is one of them. These are E3 beans. That mixture's called an inductor there that he's dumping things into. And what that does is um, you can mix stuff up in there before you put it into the sprayer. It's a lot easier to do it there than to take it up to the top of the sprayer and dump it in. There is certain situations where we will dump stuff in the top, but uh, not here with this stuff. I know. Precision. He's the mathematician. He is. He can do it in his head. This is a mixture. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Ew. Looks like cider. I can't remember what kind of mixture it was. Yeah. Just so it works. rinsing the jugs out now. Making sure we get all the expensive stuff. Every last bit. That's right. EPA approved. Safety first too. With the no gloves. He's 81 years old. If he doesn't want to wear gloves, he doesn't have to. Must be doing something right. That's right. Doing better than me. Very particular in what he does. And very good sprayer operator. I don't know what we're going to do when he doesn't do it anymore. I suppose Kylie's going to have to do it. She'll have to learn to do all How that. do you know what to mix? Does it say on the label or do you have to ask Gabe? Gabe sends us a list. Gotcha. There it goes into the sprayer. Down the hatch. Put it in a sludge. Do you? Well, it turns into sludge. Ew. I don't know if you heard him say that, but you got to mix these chemicals separately. Or it'll turn to sludge in there. We do not want that. What, like curdle or something? Yeah. It turns to a big mass of yuck. Ew. You got to dig it out. I think this is the stuff that kills any corn or anything out there. Grass that's growing. Don't use very much of that. It must be really good stuff. Yeah. This stuff makes it stick to the weeds. That he's what? Put it. it makes it stick to the weeds. Oh.
there it is. Fill it on up and he's off to the races. Do another 40 acres. I'm kicked back watching. How's that? Looks good. Okay. Good luck. There it is. 